What's going on church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful day. So I was talking to the Heavenly Father about how to overcome temptation when the devil is attacking you. And he placed Job in my spirit. So I became curious and I went to the book of Job, verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and is true evil. So I read this book plenty of times, y'all. And the word is stood out to me this time for some reason. So I asked the heavenly father, what does that word mean? And he told me to look it up. See, the word is means by definition to avoid, to elude, to escape, to evade. So basically it means to deliberately avoid something that's distasteful, something that's evil, something that's going to influence bad habits. It means to avoid evil. And so the heavenly father said, that's why I placed Job in your spirit because I wanted you to recognize that word, eschewed, eschewed evil. That's what Job did. And the devil continued to attack him. He continued to tempt him. He continued to try to bait him out of his position with the heavenly father through the trials and tribulations that God allowed in his life. And God said, the only way to win a battle against temptation is to eschew, avoid, have no parts of it. Don't get into corrupt communications. Don't get into foolish debates with people. Don't allow life circumstances to be used against you if the enemy sees you struggling with something. Always come to the Heavenly Father. And you know what the Bible said about Job after all his trial and tribulation? Because what happened was every time something bad happened, right? When somebody will lose their life, the enemy will allow one person to live to continue to bring bad news to Job, trying to get him to curse God. And the word said in Job 1, verse 21 through 22, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job sinned not nor charge God foolishly. So the word said, the Lord give and the Lord take. But no matter what he went through, he sinned not. So that's what type of mentality we have to have when it comes down to temptation. Because here's another thing. Temptation isn't always attached to lust. Temptation is considering going back to just old habits or dealing with people that the Heavenly Father separated you from or just going back to a familiar place. So that's why we have to eschew from that type of mindset. We have to avoid having that mindset because that's the only way we can overcome temptation because there's never going to be a special day that all of a sudden temptation just go away. See, one thing about it, when you're on the right path with the Heavenly Father, when you're on the way to a breakthrough, when you're on the way to something that's magnificent, that's about to take place in your life, when God is about to turn everything around, the devil will try to tempt you to get you off that course. He wants you to curse the Heavenly Father. He wants you to say foolish things to the Heavenly Father. When God's thoughts are higher than ours, God already got a plan for our life. God already know what he wants to do for our lives. See, when you give thanks in the middle of chaos, that's what confuses the devil because he can't comprehend the fact that God is allowing all this stuff to happen in your life, yet you still desire to praise his name, to worship him, 
to give him all the glory. You still desire to have a relationship with the heavenly father, even though all this stuff is going on in your life. So that's what it truly means to resist the devil and he shall flee. Because no matter what's going on in our lives, whether it be good or bad, whenever you're on the right track, period, he's going to try to tempt you. He's going to try to attack you. He's going to try to make you feel down about yourself. He's going to try to place intrusive thoughts in your mind to make you believe those are your thoughts when really it's coming from the enemy. Whenever you get those negative thoughts about causing some type of harm and all that kind of stuff, it's coming from the enemy. So we got to avoid this type of mentality at all costs. So that's why this word is titled, is true evil. See, the enemy wants you to struggle. He wants you to go back to old ways. He wants you to forget about the plan of God so you could try to fulfill your own plan. And every time we try to take matters into our own hands, it always leads us back to a dark place in life. That's why we got to come to a place of repentance. That's why we got to just get to a place of surrendering, submitting to the will of God. Submit your thoughts, your ways, everything to the will of God. And when you keep your focus on Lord Jesus, he will keep your mind in perfect peace. He will establish you. And then on top of that, right, the word also say, when you keep the patience of Lord Jesus' word, he will keep you from temptation. The word say in Revelations 3, verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we're entering into those times, y'all, that temptation will fall upon the entire world. And God said, the only way we can overcome this is we got to keep the patience of Lord Jesus' word hidden away in our hearts, minds, and souls. And it said, Lord Jesus will keep us from temptation. He will keep that temptation from falling upon us. And we got to extrude from any evil communications, any corrupt thing that's not pleasing to the Heavenly Father. We got to avoid it. If it's something that could potentially lead you toward a bad place, like having certain conversations with people, that's not good or going back to old environments or going back to just anything that the heavenly father has delivered you out of. If it's anything that can potentially cause temptation to fall upon you, avoid it. Let it go. Walk the opposite direction. That's the only way. There's no other way to overcome temptation. We got to practice what Lord Jesus taught us so he can keep us from falling into that temptation. He said we got to pray. He said we got to fast. He said we got to keep the word of God in our hearts, in our mind. We got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We got to avoid anything that's going against the Heavenly Father. We got to avoid darkness. And you do that by stepping into the light of Lord Jesus. That's really what I'm trying to say. But that word really blessed my soul. I, I read that scripture in Job plenty of times. And you know how sometimes when you see certain words, you don't know what it means. So you kind of just skip over it. But when I found out the definition for the word extrude, and it means to avoid, it really brought the scripture to life. It brought more clarity. It brought more context to the scripture. So, you know, some of these words, y'all, that we read in the Bible, we might just got to look up. We might got to figure it out <laughs> so we could just understand more of what, what's being said and what the Heavenly Father is trying to teach us through Lord Jesus. But yeah, it's true evil. Avoid Anything that's wicked that goes against God. If it goes against the Heavenly Father, it's most definitely going to go against you. And that's how the enemy 
traps us. He traps us with the stuff that causes harm to ourselves. So we don't want to go against God's word. If God say, don't do it. If God say, reframe yourself from corrupt communications, then we should do it. Because God trying to lead us, lead us to somewhere better. And then, you, you know, another thing too, y'all, y'all got to, you got to try the spirit by the spirit. If it's something that can potentially harm you, then you know it's not of God. Because everything the father teaches us, it helps us spiritually. It helps us avoid getting into certain troubles that we put ourselves in. So, eschewed evil. That's the new word that the Father has taught me. And it means to avoid. It means to evade, elude. Because at the end of the day, when you avoid stuff that's bad, that's harming you, that can lead you into a dark place, it will preserve your life. Or if anything, at least you will have a good life. You will have a much better life if you let go of all the harmful substance that's in this world. And that's just the honest truth. God wants to help us. He wants to help us through Lord Jesus. He wants to fill us with the Holy Ghost. He wants to bless us with more discernment so we can be able to judge between good and evil. So we can know right from wrong. So we can make better decisions. That's what God wants to do. That's the will of God for our lives. The will of God is for us to just give thanks. Give thanks to the Heavenly Father. Seek after Him, and He will give you what you need. That's what God wants to do for your life. And when you give thanks in the middle of chaos, that's what pleases the Heavenly Father because He sees the faith that you have in Lord Jesus. So, it's true to evil. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.